of a college crowd. Just how did that feel to be out there today? Um, felt great, you know, to be out there, finally get out there and play uh, in front of the best friends in America. So, I mean, it felt great and uh, happy to be a Buckeye. Kato, uh, your night, uh, how did how'd you feel out there and uh, what do you take out of a performance like today? Uh, I felt really good out there. I felt comfortable. Um, our office was you know, moving yeah. a lot well. I felt good out there. Okay, how did you guys feel? How did you feel about your defense performance as a, as a unit? Uh, we we got some work to do on defense. We got a lot of young guys that um, don't fully understand the concept of continuously. Every possession counts. Every possession matters. But um, you know, like you said, we're not feeling it right now. We'll, we'll, we'll have to get better. Juan, anything about tonight that uh, surprised you? Anything that like you said, been waiting for this for a while. You know, how did it compare to maybe what you had thought it might be like? Um, I mean, I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's a, that's a, the most people I ever played in front of. So, I mean, that was a big difference. But, uh, you know, uh, I got um, my teammates behind me. I got through it quick, and uh, they were there with me every step of the way. And um, it was just fun to finally be out there and playing. Jaquan, I think, I mean, you heard it countless times already. People are going to look at you, and they're going to think of D'Angelo. And I think people were hoping that you'd be able to score. You obviously did a little more than that tonight. Flirted with a triple double. It's an exhibition, I know, so you don't take too much away from it. But maybe break, break down your game and, and how you bring more than just maybe scoring points. Uh, well, I mean, you know, playing 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 with uh, Kato, Mark, and I mean, you know, uh, Cam and all everybody else on the team. You know, with them, it's just easy to play with them because they make shots. I mean. Hard, hard shots, uh, easy shots, they make them. So, I mean, as far as that goes, that's that's on them making the shots. Uh, but, I mean, you know, like, uh, I'm a bigger guard, so I'm not scared to go down there and rebound with the big guys, you know. I did a little bit of that today. And, uh, you know, just scoring options, that's from them making shots. And then that's the defense uh, adjusting to them, and that gives me open lane. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's all a team team effort. And, I mean, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. For either of you guys, three point game at halftime. I wonder what Thad said at halftime and what sort of adjustments uh, he wanted you to make coming out of the second half. Um, you know, it was mostly defensive things. The offense wasn't you know, bad. It was mostly defensive things. Our rotations, uh, doing what we usually do in practice, we were carrying the into the game. So we just talked about that. And also, uh, you know, I think they, they made, uh, he said, three two point baskets, and the rest were all threes and free throws. And they were shooting, I think, like 32% at half. So, I mean, with that, it was just them hitting some, you know, some well contested shots. I mean, I mean, they didn't really hit that many shots they did in the first half. They did the second half, but I mean, that's just they, that's the kind of night they had. So, uh, Jake, I mentioned the contested shots. Kate, I'm just wondering, when you're out there, you're defending a guy like I think he's 22, Harden. How much of a factor is, is your length when you're when you're guarding a guy like that, and then maybe projecting that forward? How much of a, of a Plus, is that yeah, it helps a lot because I don't have to be super close to him. Like, I can keep my distance. So when he drives, I'm, like, I'm already backing up, and he goes for a shot. I can contest it really, really well. Kata, for if you have as many points as you had tonight, I wonder how you build off of something like this and, and translate it to once the season starts to start playing games that, that count in the standings. Um, just look at the film. Look what I did. You know what I did to score those points, and look at uh, the other four players on the floor. Their spacing, what they're doing. Make sure we. Uh, Continue to do that, carry it over. Like Mike Juan said, the same thing. The defense adjusts to me, he's open shot, gets open shots, or driving lanes. Uh, Kata, you seem more aggressive maybe than we saw out of you last year. Is that a change in mindset? Is that how you're going to approach the season? Is it maybe just now that you've got more opportunity? What what, what was that about? Uh, that's, just, that's just how I'm looking to approach the season. Now. I guess I'm going to carry that over into the rest of the season. Coach Mata talked to us the other day and said, that in the Bowling Green game, there was a problem with fouling. Um, we saw that in the first half, but you guys seemed to clean that up a bit in the second half. Was that an emphasis at halftime? And what are you guys trying to do to, to clean that up in general? Yeah, definitely. Um, like the Bowling Green game, we fouled a lot. We was getting fouled a lot in the first half, going to the free throw line. That stops our momentum. We get any time momentum we foul. I slowed it down. So we try to focus on that in the second half.